Yo, 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 what's going on, everybody? We are live with the batch call. You already know we're live. And what we're going to do today, guys, is I'm going to show you how to use batch to get deals like I always do. And I'm going to show you guys something a little extra. I'm going to give you a little extra sauce today. I'm going to show you guys how to fill out an assignment agreement because some of you guys might not know how to fill out paperwork to assign a deal to somebody. So I'm going to fill that out for you. I'm going to show you live. <laughs> is the batch call we show people how to use batch leads to get deals and crush it and today i got a special treat i'm going to show everyone how to fill out an assignment agreement now an assignment agreement nick and for everybody watching is once you have a house under contract you need to be able to assign it to an end buyer so you can make your wholesale fee right yeah. so that's what we're going to be showing today as well as showing how, how batch is helping people right now with the way that the game is so let's dive right into it first i'm going to show you guys how to use batch to find buyers and then we're going to go in now that we have a buyer for a deal that I have, it's a $19,000 deal. And I'm JVing with someone in the club that joined. He had a deal, needed help finding a buyer. I found an end buyer. Now we're just going to assign it. Okay. I'm going to show you how to do it. So let's dive right into it. So everybody knows about batch leads. And if you guys don't have batch leads, give it a shot. You get a free trial. I don't know why you wouldn't try it. It's freaking tight. Basically, once you have batch leads, I mean, batch leads right now, guys, because I've made my business pretty dang trim right now, is batch leads is pretty much one of the only services I pay for right now to do this business. You just need the list, you need the data, and then you need maybe like a DocuSign, some sort of thing. I use PandaDoc, but that's pretty much it. So let's go to the mind map really quick. If you guys don't have the mind map that I give away for free, please go check it out it's absolutely free it shows you how to do a deal from step a to z step one through ten it shows everything so i have done this in the past guys but i'm going to show you guys again if you are looking for buyers on deals go to step three and go to flippers and rehabbers because that's who we're selling our deals to right now and go to batch leads right now okay go to use how to use batch leads there are two videos right now where i show people how to find buyers and i'm going to kind of explain this deal that i'm doing right now now. So this deal that I have, I'm JVing with someone in our club program and the deal came in Columbia, South Carolina and I looked up the deal, ran some comps on it. What had happened is the person I'm JVing with, they actually found it on for sale by owner. I'll be honest, guys, I haven't really done a lot of for sale by owner deals, but he found it for sale by owner. And what he did, the house was listed at 330. Okay. So 330 is, was like a really high price point. And what he offered, it was listed at 330. He offered 270. I basically analyzed the deal. I looked up the comps. If you guys don't know how to look up comps, this is just a random deal. But you know, you basically just go to batch leads, you go to comparables, you see the estimated value of the property. You also can automatically, it runs comparables. So it tells you homes that have sold recently. So we ran the comps and the deal was, he was way off. No, no offense to my man, you know, Noble, he's, he's awesome, but not throwing him under the bus. It's just the, the comps were wrong, right? So I told him where he needed to be. I said, Hey, you need to be at this price. And because of the reverse wholesaling method that I teach you guys and show you, I actually reached out to a buyer that I knew in the area that I knew would buy it or is interested in buying properties in Columbia, South Carolina. And I said, what would you buy this for? And he gave me a price. He said, I'd buy it for around 185. What happened at that point is I went back to the J the guy I'm doing a JV deal with. And I said, Hey man, my buyer needs about 185. You're at 275. Can you get the seller to come down and miracle? You know, he was able to get them down to come to 180. Okay. So the buyer that I had was at 185 and he got them down to 180. So I went back to my buyer buyer and I went to the negotiating phase of if you go through step nine of how to dispo a deal. I was negotiating the deal with them and I got them up to 199. Okay. So we have it at 180. They're at 199. So that's a $19,000 wholesale fee because he's a part of my club. I actually give them 60% instead of 50. So on this deal, you know, if everything goes well, I don't count my eggs before they have my chickens before they hatch or whatever the saying is. So, you know, there's always things that can happen, but if it goes through, he's going to get 60% for me bringing the buyer and then I get the remainder, right? A pretty sweet deal, you know, to get more money and for me to help him find a buyer. So all this comes through the, the process that I'm showing you guys and batch is a key part of that, of my process. He brought me a deal. I ran the number in my calculator. So the ARV was like actually 330 what it was listed for. He had it at 275. So I think it needed about 50K of work 
and he had it 275 and it was worth 330. And if you want to make a wholesale fee of 15K, it's not a deal. The the flipper would lose $51,000. So we got it down to 180. Now it's a $19,000 wholesale fee. And yeah, I mean, you could say, dang, you know, the flipper is going to make 45K, but that's how flippers are right now. In order for them to do a deal, they want to make 15 to 20% of the ARV as their net profit. So if we just go over here to the calculator and say, okay, what's 20% of 330? Okay, that's 66. So that's more. So we'll go 330 and then we'll go 15% because it's between 15 to 20%. Okay, 49,000. And they're going to be making close to that. So they're okay with making fi around 15% on flipping it and paying us 19 and we would wholesale to them for 189. So how did I use Batch in this process? He gave me the deal. I, I looked up some comps on it, found out, okay, is he really dealing with the right owner? Okay, he is. All right, let me find out if it's a deal. He had it too high. I went to my buyer found out that he needs to renegotiate it. He renegotiated it. Now we signed an addendum to the contract to bring the price lower. And now we have a deal. Now I'm about to assign it. And all these steps you can find for free in the painless wholesaling mind map. All right. So I'm going to show you exactly how to fill out an assignment agreement right now. Cause that's, I mean, you guys are going to need that. So what you do go to step eight under making offers and getting contracts signed. You go here to um, contracts. Number three contracts. Once your offer gets accepted, which ours has, and then you go to assignable contract for end buyer. So we're trying to assign our contract to the end buyer. You can go here. I provide you a Google form. All you have to do is make a copy of it. So what I'm going to do is I'm actually going to download this as a PDF because I have to put it into my DocuSigner or PandaDoc. So I'm going to download that. It's time to go to PandaDoc. So we're going to log in here, PandaDoc. So you go under here to under new document. You drag the uh, addendum assignment. Here it is. Okay. So you load that bad boy in there. You put the emails of who you're sending it to. So for right now, I'm just going to show you like a, an example. So what you would do here is you just put all the text fields that are required in reference to the contract between buyer, a signer. So that's me, right? Nathan Payne and sellers. And then you would put the seller's information and I'd have to look all that up. So I'm just going to do that dated on. So this would be the date of the contract property is described as you put the property address. So 800 South, 1300 North, whatever blank assigner. I am the signer hereby assigns all rights to this contract, including the right to ability to assign this, blah, blah, blah. Anyway, it's just saying, Hey, I am assigning my right to someone else to buy this property. So we're going to go here. We'll put my name pertaining by the third party to assignee is the next person that I'd put in. Well, actually, it's the person that's up here. This is the assigner, ass assignee who we're assigning it to for the total purchase price, including assignment fee of. And then you want to put what you're signing it to them for. And in this case, we're doing 199 plus any inspection fees, repairs, blah, blah. The closing will take place on or before. So we know this one is, we said December 5th at 5 p.m. Guys, I know this might look like trash, but I'm just doing it quick. This assignment is made with no warranties, guarantees. You're basically just saying, hey, I'm not guaranteeing anything. You have to do your own due diligence. Undersigned assignee acting personally and for the representatives, affiliates, and organizations. If any each hereby agrees to defend. Look, it's pretty much just saying you're signing the contract to someone. Okay. <laughs> You don't got to know all this legal stuff. Just assign your agreement to someone you're good. So this assignment shall be voidable at the sole discretion of the signer. It fails to pay the earnest money. So you're saying, hey, I need my earnest money. I usually ask for 5K and it says it needs to be paid within. You don't want to give them like 30 days to put down their money. You want their non-refundable earnest money put down ASAP. So you know they're legit. So you would just say, what's the date today? I'll give you a day, right? You can do it today or tomorrow. And it says, said earnest money shall be paid by wire certified funds to, you'd have to put either you or the title company in there. Said earnest money shall be paid to title company. We'll just say title company for this one because I think they're using an attorney, but I'm going to find all that out. Title company, said title company, whatever. And you just have them sign. I sign as a signer with my name. Nathan Payne. And then I put whoever's signing for them. 
Again, you'd have to send this as a recipient, but I just didn't put it for this example. I am curious, there should be an assignment fee, at least from what I've seen in the past, you say how much you're getting on the assignment fee. Well, that's actually on specific contracts. So you actually don't have to say that. I think we took that off because we didn't want people knowing how much we were making until they went to close. So you actually don't have to show how much you're making on assignment agreements. That's how we do it. So then you just have to disclose, since this is a JV deal, I'm going to have to talk to the attorney and tell them how much is going to get paid to me versus how much is going to get paid to the person I'm JVing with. So that's that's how it goes. So Nick, any questions on this assignment? I know I went through it quickly, but it's pretty self-explanatory if you just read through it. Yeah, it's straightforward. Yeah, you just take the agreement. You're the assigner. You assign it to someone. You put the price that you're assigning to them for. You have the real estate purchase agreement at a specific price. They can do the math then. They don't really need to know what you're making. It's not necessary for them to know what your assignment fee is for them to do the deal. A lot of people don't disclose it. We used to disclose it all the time, but again, it doesn't matter. But that's it. You know, guys, if you get to the point where you get a house under contract and you need to sign it. I just gave you the juice. It's super simple. You just put all this information in, you have them sign this, and then you send it to the title company or the attorney that you're working with. Super simple. Nothing crazy. Guys, I, I believe I'm smart. I'm a smart person, but it's not rocket science. Maybe as I'm showing you how to do it, you're like, yo, this is dude, this is dude Nate doesn't even, he looks kind of dumb. I'm not dumb. I'm just, it doesn't require that much effort to just fill out an agreement and send it to someone on DocuSign. All right. You can all do this. You all got this. Find a deal, assign it to a buyer. Through the painless wholesaling method, find buyers using the mind map and the strategies I show you, and you're locked and loaded. You're good. Go make some money.